Hey guys, so right now I'm in Nashville, Tennessee, and a few months ago I started a video relating to all things Taylor Swift. Um, I don't know if you guys are fans of Taylor Swift or not, but I am, and I will be going to her concert later this year. So I started a video um, going to places where Taylor Swift likes to go to and things that have Taylor Swift things. Um, so I hit up a few spots and I'm really disappointed because a few months ago I should have gone to the record store where her mural was because now it's gone. <laughs> she was the 2022 ambassador for record store day and they had a beautiful mural at this one record store and that day we started off at the Country Music Hall of Fame. Then we went to eat something. I was with a friend of mine from work and she wanted to go somewhere as well and it was getting dark because this was before daylight savings time so unfortunately i didn't go to the record store and i should have just gone anyway because i lost my chance now they have a new ambassador and the mural is gone either way today i want to finish my video and hit up more spots that taylor swift likes and anything that is relating to miss taylor swift so i hope you guys Enjoy this video. Let's get started. Ah! Hey guys, so right now I'm at the Country Music Hall of Fame to check out some Taylor Swift stuff. They have a couple of her dresses and um, guitars and stuff like that that she has used but this is the uh, entrance right here Welcome to the Taylor Swift Education Center. Oh yeah, she does. The typewriter. There's a guitar over here. How freaking cool. Oh my god, that's so awesome. Okay, look, we made it. Where are we? Taylor Swift's penthouse. Um, yeah, supposedly this is there. Taylor Swift's penthouse. I don't really. Uh, yeah, that's the same building. That's the picture. The pool's up there. So freaking cool. I wish I could see it better. It's like, can I? I want to like stand up on something. Just what people are gonna be like? What are these girls doing? What does it look like I'm doing? It's Taylor Swift. Hey Taylor, are you up there? Well, there it has to be. Oh, all the way up there? Yeah. It's, our, it's hers, for sure. I want to see it from the other side over there. Let's try. Okay. Okay, so I'm walking to see a different angle of it. So, <laughs> this is ridiculous. But yeah, maybe you can see it better. 
But supposedly, according to a picture I found online, she should be, her place should be on that corner up there where it's really dark right there. That's it. So yeah, she would be like in that corner up there somewhere. If she still lives there. I don't even, I don't even know if this is still her penthouse or not, to be honest. <laughs> So welcome to Hillsboro Village. This is where Taylor Swift likes to shop and sh her favorite restaurant is right behind me which is the Pancake Pantry. I'm about to go inside and have her favorite pancakes and just enjoy some good food. So yay, so excited. because usually there's a long line okay, so I'm inside of pancake pantry I just ordered the eggs and cakes um, which comes with two pancakes so I got the sweet potato because it's Taylor Swift's favorite and the banana bread because the waitress loves that one so yeah it's a really cute spot i don't know if you guys can see behind me taylor swift loves this place and she's been seen here frequently so it's very exciting <laughs> And here are the pancakes. These are the famous banana bread. And, and here's the sweet potato. I'm excited. So I just finished eating and finished paying. This was awesome. Definitely recommend if you're in Nashville, come to Pantry. Pink, pink, uh, pink. I definitely recommend if you're in Nashville to come to Pancake Pantry. It was really, really good. <laughs> and you know, I love my murals. There's the artist right there. really make out what it is. What is that? Is that a horse? Oh yeah, it's a horse. There we go. It's very cute. And then you got Hillsboro Village mural over here. Your big dragon. Very nice. I'm loving this one over here though. The, all the different colors. There's another famous mural here in Nashville. All the girlies like to take pictures here. And there's the artist right there. And this is actually a store right here. Sweet. And here's another favorite shop of Taylor Swift is Fido, where you can get some delicious coffee and even something to eat. Centennial Park right now in this I guess cool swing and of course you know Taylor mentions this park and the song Invisible String so you have to come check out Centennial Park
is so peaceful. I can see why she would like to come here and sit down <laughs> and maybe write music, right? It's so pretty. And this building behind me. Wow. So <laughs> while Taylor Swift is on tour, every city is honoring her in their own special way. And here in Nashville, they chose Centennial Park because if you don't know, there is a song called Invisible String where Taylor Swift mentions this park. And so the city decided to honor her by putting a plaque here on this bench here at Centennial Park. So cool. <laughs> Yay. Look how pretty this is. I love that they chose this little area back here to do this. And here it is. That's so cool. Good job, Nashville. All right, so I was not gonna come back to the Country Music Hall of Fame, but because they have a Taylor Swift um, exhibit going on right now, I had to come back and show you guys, because I want to see it, and I'm sure you guys that are Taylor Swift fans would want to see it too. Yay! So I just picked up my ticket, here it is, and we're about to go check everything out. So exciting. This place is so pretty by the way. So you go right in through those doors right there. And there's so much to see here. exciting Covered cape, loose ear, and briefs. The music video controlled. Taylor Swift's Midnights. Oh, look at this guitar. Is this? I don't know what that is. Graduation gown. Taylor Swift wore this New York University gap and gown when she received an honorary doctor of fine arts degree and delivered the commencement address at the New York City graduation event at Yankee Stadium. And here's the Taylor Swift Eras Tour pop-up exhibit. 
starting here with her pants and top. She wore this mother crocheted striped tank top with these baby white legs in the 22 music video Lavender Haze. Here's a um, jacket and bikini, war and unique to calm down music video. Wow, it's so cool. Taylor wore this box for jacket, I assume. 2019 music video, need to calm down. And here's reputation. was for the music video Look What You Made Me Do in 2017. Yeah, and she is too. Welcome to New York and New Romantics 1989 World Tour in 2015. So cool. And shoes. This was for We Were Never Getting Back Together at the MTV Music Awards, November 11, 2012. She also wore elements of this costume on the Red Tour 2013-2014. Here's the shoes. Courtney Plaid Kurt. This was for her Evermore album cover in 2020. There's the shoes. This was worn in the 2020 music videos for Cardigan and Willow. have to find a cool mural and what better mural to capture than Dolly Parton here in Nashville. 
So the building that is behind is a church. Or no, wait. No, it's a school. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a school. I forgot the name of the school right now, but Betty Page went to that school. And so I don't know if this mural belongs to... <laughs> to be honest with you, I have no idea. And this is a... I was going to see if that was anything, but that's just to pay. Here's the artist. Kim Radford, 2020. One. Very cool. I actually spotted this in the Uber earlier today. There you have it. All right, well, last but definitely not least is the Bluebird Cafe. And this is where Taylor Swift got discovered at the age of 14. And eventually she would sign a record deal with Big Time Machine. I think that's the name of the record deal. Anyways, but this is it, the Bluebird Cafe, and hopefully I will be able to get in later. They do have a show which is sold out, but if you do wait, um, you're sometimes able to get in either way. So, fingers crossed. There it is right there, the Bluebird Cafe. So awesome. All right, guys, so I just finished leaving. Well, I'm still here, but the Bluebird Cafe, which I was telling you guys before, this is where Taylor Swift was discovered. I ended up buying a t-shirt. Um, I got into the concert that they had tonight, which usually it's kind of impossible because the line is usually super long, but because it's a Wednesday, I got super lucky and I was able to get in tonight which, oh my God, the songwriters that were here. So it was George, I'm trying to think of their names. You know what, I'm gonna put them down below because I don't remember their names. I know the, one of the guys' name is Gary and I think Mike Reed, they're super popular. They've, they've written amazing songs, but, and Georgia, George, I can't think of their, her name, but I got a picture with her. I'm so sorry, I can't remember her name right now, but woo, I almost dropped the phone. But anyways, um, it was amazing that I got to be here because I didn't really know of them and now I'm just like in awe because two of their songs like really hit me and I was like sitting there crying. It was crazy. But anyways, um, the night is not over yet. I'm going to head over to Music Row and show you guys as much as I can, even though it's nighttime now. But yeah, that was so cool. I can't believe that I made it inside. Okay, so here are some pictures. I'm just going to show you guys a few. I wish I could remember the lady's name with the black shirt. She was so nice, and she's the one that helped us to get inside. And here's me standing in front being super excited because who wouldn't be excited to see where one of their favorite artists got their start? So um, this was almost right before I got inside, and it was really cool. I, I was... I got... I got very lucky, honestly, and this is what it looks like from where I was sitting. I was sitting all the way towards the back, but the way that everything is set up where you're not allowed to do any video recording and their motto is to be as quiet as possible, made this night very intimate and very special. Listening to these three amazing and talented people perform some of their songs was really cool. And then here's just some pictures. That's the bar. And then I got a picture with two of them. I got a picture with Georgia and her husband, Gary. And then um, you'll see a picture of me standing uh, in front of the stage where Taylor Swift performed in 2018. That's me and Georgia and her husband, Gary. That is the only picture of Taylor Swift that you'll see inside, which I think is so sweet because that was probably around the same time that she got discovered. That's the picture I was telling you about where I'm standing in front of that stage. And then this is the only picture that I could find when Taylor Swift performed at the age of 14 for the first time and was discovered. And then this is when she surprised everyone in 2018 and performed again at the Bluebird Cafe.
All right, so this is Music Row. Uh, I think at the beginning of Music Row. Last time I was here, I was also here during this time where it was dark, so I didn't record anything. What does it say? All alone, uh, all alone am I. Break it to me gently. I'm sorry. What does it say? Rocking around the Christmas tree, sweet nothings. Oh, Loretta Lynn. Oh, these are like song titles that. So Loretta Lynn wrote, Cole, Cole, Miner's Daughter, Don't Come Home, A Drinkin'. Is that, is that what I'm getting at? Because I think that's what I'm understanding here. Yeah, like these are all artists and their songs. And it goes all the way around. All right, well, that's cool. Oops, and my finger's in the way. Do you guys want to sing a song? La, 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 la. I love this. Look at it says on and off. So cool. So you got a couple bars down this street right here. And I believe down that way it's where all the music recording studios are at. Which me and my friend walked to last time. And then Taylor Swift's penthouse apartment. I don't know if she still owns that building or that apartment but that is down that way as well all right all right guys well i made it back to my room i bought a t-shirt at bluebird cafe and let me tell you that today was nothing but amazing sorry about my hand in the way there um as i settle in but oh my gosh today was awesome i really hope this video finds its way to all my taylor swift fans out there because I know that not everyone is a Taylor Swift fan, and that's okay. I'm not here to persuade anybody. I personally wanted to visit all things related Taylor Swift here in Nashville, and today I almost got to all of them. I never made it to the record store, so hopefully someday I'll go. I'll try to check it out. Um, it's it's still a bummer that the mural is no longer there, but. Either way, I still want to go to that record store, but the highlight of my day was the Bluebird Cafe, and I want to thank the young lady, I can't think of her name, that kept coming in and out today and helping us out. Um, she was so sweet, and everybody that was waiting without a ticket, which I was one of them, we all made it inside, and we were able to experience something that I will cherish for the rest of my life and was able to watch um, Georgia Middleman, uh, Mike Reed, and Gary Burr. Um, if you don't know who they are, look them up. They're all singer and songwriters um, and they have amazing work, but there was just songs that they performed tonight that hit home and I was like, crying <laughs> like listening to some of these songs it was so moving and such a beautiful experience um unfortunately there was no videotaping allowed so i won't be able to show you guys but i do have tons of pictures that i could provide i think i'm probably just gonna put them on my instagram so if you don't follow me on instagram you know where to go it's leslie love film locations um but yeah today was awesome I hope that this video comes out okay. I kind of just kind of did my own thing. I, I didn't have any um, plans. I didn't have a script that I thought of. I just kind of wanted to show you the things that I wanted to see. So hopefully you guys like this video and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and yeah. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>